interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, it's week 15 and another typically wild season in the NFL. Their stockings are hung by the chimney with care. But which teams are going to find a playoff berth in their stocking? Which will find the dreaded cold? We'll see. But first, an interesting late season matchup for you on ESPN. Broncos, Chiefs, now. And look at all the happy tailgaters as they get set to cheer for the hometown team. in the booth, my longtime associate, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game has got a playoff atmosphere with a chance at the number one spot in the division at stake. Well, the pressure's on, Dan, you better believe it. Can secure number one in their division with a win. With these kind of matchups, it all comes down to rhythm. Whatever a team can establish an offensive and defensive rhythm earliest will come away with the win. And now let's go down to the coin toss. And welcome back to our ESPN NFL 2K5 franchise mode featuring the Denver Broncos, the fantasy drafted Denver Broncos. We're going to go ahead and select Tails. And I uh, just want to say thank you guys for supporting this video and series. Uh, we're going up against the 4 and 9 Kansas City Chiefs on the road. And they're going to receive. That's perfectly fine. You guys know we like to kick off first. Uh, I'm not really sure where the wind is. Let's just go north. And, uh, yeah, uh, every game from here on out is important. Every game is important. But, you know, we're trying to make our way into the playoffs. We will see if we are able to do that. You guys have been seeing we've been hit by the injury bug. But we're going to adapt. And uh, hopefully we can show that today. We're going to be using the Buccaneers offensive playbook. Shout out to uh, uh, a viewer who left a comment about that. So, you know, we got a good fullback. Let's see what we can do. So I appreciate you, man. Um, let's go ahead and get out here. Get the rust off. And uh, make some plays here. Who they got here? Collins, Johnson. Oh, Holmes is going to be a... He's not going to be fun. But hopefully our linebackers and our defense can do a really good job today. So we're out our two big playmakers on offense. That's LaDamian, Tomlinson, and Chris Chambers. LT, he's out for the rest of the season. We're going to be starting rookie Greg Jones. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. I mean, that sucks. That was our number one pick. You know, hopefully our offense can still get it done. And that's why we really need our defense to uh, put the team on the back. But here we go, 31. Like I said, I'm going to be a little rusty, so let's see. Um, I mean, I'm assuming they're going to run it. They go with this motions here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Fourth and three. Way to get back there, 94. Yes. That's a good statement to make here on the road in Kansas City. Uh, you know, get out there, get a three and out. No wind. I wonder how much of a factor that's going to play. But let's just uh, get out here on offense. Set some good tones. Ooh, to the 29. 23 didn't do a lot there. All right, let's see what we think of this, um, this playbook as well. Ooh, this is interesting. So we got White out here. We might have to take some time and adjust that. All right, we got Parker Parker. Okay, okay. Ooh, dangerous throw. Lloyd just does not catch it. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and go to game plan, depth chart, and we're going to double check here. Yeah, so we're going to have Jones come in. That's my decision on that. I was pretty sure he was starting, but guess not. All right, second to 10. Now we got Jones in there, number 34. Mm. We're going to actually run it with 48 here. 
Hey, there you go. Good run. Third and three. We're going to have to use the fullback. We got a good fullback. That's why I wanted to try this out, especially since we have uh, <laughs> some injuries to deal with. Mm. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. We need three yards. And that's all we get. Plus some. And that's all we needed. Five yards. That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right. I think he's obviously going to be slower than LT. Um, I'm not really sure if there's any noticeable names out there on defense. There you go, Jones. Wait up. Mm, we're getting better with the great tackling, uh, the special moves and stuff. But that's a statement run right there. Let's go. Obviously, if, uh, if I'm playing a team that has lost their starting running back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sure to get in there and stop that run. But coming out here, establishing the run early for us is really important, I think. And who knows? 34 might be that guy. He might better fit our play style. Got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. So this is really an interesting playbook. I'm looking for some play action. I'm not seeing a lot here, actually. We're running out of time, so we're just gonna go with a fullback dive here. First and ten. Run it right there, out the middle. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay. The running game might be something that we lean towards. Okay, there's a PX go. I'm not really sure I like that idea. Who we got out there? Winslow on Dyson. He's playing back and moved up. I think we might. Uh. Dudley, you gotta catch those. I I almost scrambled. You guys saw I hesitated. I rolled out. Ugh. That sucks. I really was going for the trust there. Going for the trust there. Ooh, they know we're going to the right here. They know it. Can we get a third and six here? Ah. Oh. Should have just kept going out. Oh, man. We're going to have to punt. Yeah, let's play smart. Dang, I was hoping we could get something on the board. All right, we got no win. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it bounced off of him, but it just went into the end zone. All right, so they're going to start at the 20. But, you know, Greg Jones, he's not as fast at LT, so those outside runs might be a little bit harder. Let's see. Oh, man, we totally crashed it in. There we go. We got to stop Priest Holmes. I've seen him tear it up before. And there's our yards allowed. Not bad. I think our defense has definitely stepped up. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Yo, there you go, Jones on his, I think this is his first day, uh, game back. Let's go. Way to get an interception, 55, stepping up on defense, making a play right there. He was right in front of him. Look at this. I'm pretty, who was he throwing it to for real? Like 80 or 55? All right, so now what are we going to do with that? We got to start making plays coming off of turnovers like that. Cleaned up. There you go, Winslow. Way to make that catch, and we get first and goal. We're going to go ahead and run a little bit of that hurry up. I would almost run the same play, but we're going to do this. I'm looking for Richie or Jonas. Oh, almost. We tried to dive there. What's the flag on? Holding? Holding. Number 50. Offense. On, on the offense? Damn. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. Dang. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. At least he caught it. He made it work there. Maybe we can try to pass it to him a little bit more here. We're actually going to try that right here. This is a screen. I think they're running man here, though.
Oh, man. <laughs> you got to turn around. You got to get that going as soon as possible. All right, second and goal. Got Parker. Darling or Parker? Like, oh, he fumbled. Oh, he let go of it. Oh, well, I'm glad he didn't fumble it, but dang, he should have had that. That would have been a touchdown. You're just not getting lucky here. Hmm. Yeah, I like this play, if anything. So we got Triangle or Lloyd. I think Lloyd's going to get doubled up here. I don't know. Let's go! Exactly where he needed it to land. 85 was there for the reception for a touchdown. Let's go. Look, that safety moved in. He just didn't really react, like, fast enough. And look at that. He started to. But that's what's up. Brandon Lloyd's first catch. And it's a touchdown. And we take a 6 to nothing lead. Hopefully 7. Right? Um, <laughs> hopefully, right? You never know with this kicking game. It should be fine with that max kick. No wind. 7-0 off of the interception. Let's go. Four plays, 22 yards in just a minute and 10 seconds. Look at that. 85, I got to say, man. Lloyd has definitely stepped up. When Chris Chambers comes back, I think we're going to be in really good, you know, offensive strengths moving forward in the passing game, okay? I think we need to improve it still, but I feel more confident about it. There you go, 71. Big hit. 18-yard line. I love getting up early. I think that that just gives you some comfort, some confidence, and you're allowed to kind of relax your shoulders because the first few few minutes, at least for me, are pretty tense. I don't know about you guys when you play games like this, you know, or even watching your team play. You're like, okay, until I see what this game's going to be like, I'm, it's going to be a little nerve-wracking. Nope. Incomplete. So that interception and then it, it made me feel good knowing that Greg Jones was going to come in here and do he was going to do his thing. I didn't go to zone here. Hey, there you go, Parrish. Get in the way. Get in the way. It just looks like they're not connecting right now. Let's hope it stays that way. All right. They're definitely going to go for this pass here. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's go, Bill Allen. Way to play shut down over there on the corner there, 27. I'm glad Will Allen's come to this team and done his thing, man. It's really made me happy. You know, you make your trade. You're not really sure how it's going to go. Ooh, this is a good punt here. Go to the right there. Go to the right. Go to the right. Oh. oh, it looked like he almost broke out of that. But pretty good field position here. At the end of the first, we're up 7 0. All right, all right, here we go. Back at it again. I'm going to try something like a weak counter. You know, we got we got the lead. We get the ball back in the third quarter. We got a whole quarter to just establish some more momentum. Alright, we gotta we gotta turn it up. Greg ain't gonna be able to hit those outsides like you know we would like, so. Okay, got Parker. I like Parker over the middle here, I like Winslow. Okay, okay, okay. Or Lloyd. Or Lloyd right there found the opening. Let's go. Getting better at reading those things, you know. I like to think. Yeah, there's definitely a touchdown bug or something with this game. So they shift. There's still this linebacker. Hey, look, there's Richie. Four yards. I mean, we're getting more out of our fullback than ever before so yeah let's keep it keep it going I like the run game let's see if what we can do here with Jones
Hey, there you go. There you go. There you go, Jones. I love that toughness, man. Look at this guy coming in for one of the goats. LT. And look at this run here following following his blocks here. Boom, boom. Gets over. He, he, he rubs that man off. He throws that man down. I love it. He's already got it 40 yards, so that's a lot more than I even could have guessed. <laughs> All right. Triangle. Oh, dangerous, dangerous. We could have actually found Winslow there. So that's on me. All right, let's see what we can do. I don't know. I don't know if they're... I feel like they're they're running. Okay, okay. I'm going to try the straw here. Mm, didn't work. Didn't work. All right, what are we doing here? Who we, get, who we got? Kotri. All right. I like Kotri, actually. I like him on this. Oh, yeah, and coming inside here. We're going to have to get this ball off pretty quick, though. 39. Play, action play. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Let's go. He played it. I must. It must have been zone because he just bumped. And there we go. Our second score of the day. A little play action at 34. Nice throw. He was wide open. Good job, 89. Let's go, man. So I'm digging the Buccaneers playbook. I'm digging it. We're going to try some others. You know, we've tried the Colts and we tried uh, the Bucks. But I'm trying to find that playbook that matches our identity. But with seven plays, 56 yards, and just over two minutes. We extend our lead. Let's go, 89. All right, 14 nothing. Still got a lot left here in the third, or I mean the second. Get a little tongue tied there. I don't know. I think it it does take for me uh, some extra strength to commentate sometimes because you're just so in your head. You're trying to focus, trying to concentrate. You know. So shout out to those who do commentary on games and live streams and stuff, man. It really does take, you know, some skills. I hope I do a good job. I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, man. Nice. Parrish has stepped up, man. I say it every video, I think, now. Oh, Andre Johnson. Maybe that's why they always show last season's stats, because this season's stats aren't always updated. You know what? I kind of like... Man, blitz here on the left side. Let's go, and it pays off, and we get the sack. We are definitely, dude, Jones, defensive player of the game so far. Got the sack. He's got the interception. Oof. Love it. Uh, we need to get more pressure on the quarterback. I feel like that's something I'm going to be looking for. In the offseason, but 39 now. They got a bunch over there. We're gonna play the pass. Almost. Almost, man. Allen's was right there, dude. He was ready. Fourth and nine, though. But we are constantly just getting stop after stop here. So hey. Let's get back out there on offense. Good job, defense. Not really letting them get in, uh get anything going here. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, there we go to the 37. That's that's not bad. All right, what do we got? We got some time here. Taking our time. Coming up. First and 10, ball in the 37. Like to get some points on the board again. Get a yard. Hey, but we're we're just trying to spread the love. I, I think I replied to a comment um, where I was just mentioning how I want to make sure that, you know, I'm balanced. I'm not just only looking at one guy because then if they go down, you, you kind of have to restart. And that's what we've had to do here a couple times already. So 
Ooh, this might be a little risky. Or we'll, we'll roll out here. A Winslow, man. Just getting that timing down. Byron. Is it? Yeah, Byron Leftwich. I always say Brian Leftwich for some reason. Don't make fun of me, guys, please. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a strong fullback dive after the two-minute warning. We're just going to use this time up. Mo Lewis. Okay. He's out there. I love, see, look, they got the, it's cold out there in Kansas City. Look at that. Perfect. Couldn't have designed it any better. We just attack that middle. I love it. Um, what do we want to do here? So I don't know how I feel about the far pro and all that stuff, but, you know. Getting used to it. Getting used to it. All right, we got a minute and a half, so we're gonna have to kind of speed it up a little bit. Yeah, I had to dump it down. I had to dump it down. That's not Greg's fault. That's my fault. That was bad play calling of mine. All right, they were trying to show us all these things. I'm like, hold up. So what would this be? We're gonna run a little, a little crazy here. It's gonna be like a play action reverse. Okay, okay, okay. That didn't go anywhere. We had too much time. That was a nice little play though. But they, they just had the right defense. Okay, we gotta focus here. Let's try to get something. Okay. There you go, darling. There you go. First down. Too easy. Run it up. I'm gonna do a weak dive here. Try to catch him off guard. Mm, that linebacker was ready for it. Call a timeout. Okay, so we got 30 seconds, two timeouts. We're actually in a good spot here. Watch out for number 57 here. Okay, we got. I want Lloyd. See what that safety does. Ah, keep dumping it down to Lloyd or to Jones. This is still auto on our own. We're gonna run it, run it. Okay, we're running. Ah, man, I screwed that up, guys. I totally screwed that up. Yeah, 54 yard. This might not even. Mm, we have no win. We gotta hit this right. No, we gotta get Max on these. That's gonna be just short. Damn. I did not play that right, guys. That's on me, man. It's bad play calling right there. And then, if we would've even just got it a little bit closer, we would've been fine. But hey, not gonna sweat it. We're up 14 nothing. We should be able to just come back out here in the third quarter. And do some good things. Oh my, that was a little dangerous, huh? So they got three seconds. What are they doing? Five wide receivers. Yep, they're going to go for the Hail Mary. Three seconds. Nice, nice. Good job, Parrish. And we're going to go into halftime. 14 nothing. And you know what, guys? We're going to let the halftime show go. So I'm going to take a break. I'll see you guys in the third quarter, all right? And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. All right, team. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats. And boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Chiefs are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. We'll start this one off late in the first quarter. Donnie Jones is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Bronx towards the end of the first quarter. The Broncos inside the red zone. Byron Leftwich connected with his man on this one. A 15-yard touchdown for the Broncos. 
the Bronx later on in the second quarter. Bronx winning by seven. Greg Jones would get the carry here. Good blocking up front to help the Springham. They move ahead by 14. The Bronx again have it. Byron Leftwich would find his target on this one. A 15-yard play that set up a Bronco field goal, but they couldn't connect. And that's where we'll leave this one. Chiefs are down at the half, 14 to nothing. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Byron Leftwich has been unstoppable. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in... Uh, all right, all right, all right. Well, there you go. That was halftime. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, if you guys want me to keep those halftime shows in the videos, you just let me know. It gives me a chance to stand up, stretch, think about things. You know, it just depends on the flow of the game, but we're going to go ahead and get the ball back. Um, you know, part of trying out playbooks is trying out plays, and that's kind of what we've been doing. Uh, but we got to find something that's working and just let it go, especially on offense, because this is a team that I feel like we can go ahead and get up real early um, and just finish it out. And we've gotten up early. We just got to finish it out now. So some of the things that were working, the running game wasn't wasn't uh, too bad, was it? It was doing pretty good. So I think they're going to expect that. But... Let's see, let's see. I'm still gonna try out a couple things. Okay. Go up there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see how that tackle animation went? Dude, he kind of just like went sideways over the, the first down. I'm surprised they didn't give that. They didn't give that to us? All right, let's go. What a way to start. We're part of this game. It's just reading the defense, like in any of these football games, and that's where I've always slacked off and suffered in these games. So, you know, I appreciate all the feedback you guys got for me in the comments section. So don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know where I can improve. Oh, there you go, Richie. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Seven attempts, 31 yards, man. That's what this, uh, that's exactly what this playbook is about, though, you know? Second and three. So this one's going to be interesting. We're going to fake it. Wait, why is Richie, <laughs> why is he always getting the ball? Yo, look at that. Why is Richie's... Uh, Richie is our starting... There you go. There you go. What is going on? What? I gotta check that out. Richie's like our starting running back. Is that by the playbook? Fullback is Richie. Gray Jones. What the hell? I'm thinking it's a play that... <laughs> that's going to um, Greg and it's going to somebody completely different. Okay, this one's going to Greg. But I think they're, they're ready for this stuff now. But we're going to run with it because uh, if that if yo, if 34 is a little bit faster on some of these plays man, oh man. Okay, there we go. I just got to pay attention to who is the guy that's going to get the ball, you know? Okay, they're looking for the pass here. Don't be surprised. If we can follow our blocks here, we can get a good play out of this. Oh, we were getting there, man. I don't know why we got caught up. But Greg is doing doing this thing, man, and, and, and just... Even if we don't come back to this specific playbook, I think it's important to have um, something that does incorporate a fullback. Or just, we need to keep that in mind, that we have a talented fullback who can make a play. Oof. Ugh. 
That just wasn't the play, guys. That just wasn't the play. That's on me. So we had something going there. I go for that pass. That was not the play. I had a, I, mm, my play calling skills have to improve. Max, let's get a good punt here. Oh, oh, oh. On the 15, inside the 20. All right, defense, keep doing your thing. Uh, we got to get the passing game going when I get back, though. I mean, look, we took some time off the clock. We're up 14 nothing. I don't know. I'm trusting that it might be a... Oh. Hey, there you go. There you go. There you go. Way to read. 55, man. Making plays today. That's what happens, man. You get into a rut, man. Kind of like Patrick Mahomes. <clears throat> you know, it happens to really talented players and athletes of all kinds. And artists. It's like writer's block, but for athletes, man. You get into a slump like that. Oh, my God. That's a face mask. That's a face mask. Unless there's holding. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Clean it up. Jeez. All it takes is a couple plays, man. Yeah, that's unlike 27 to make that play, but... I'm glad we caught him. We're getting better. We're getting better at that, but... Mm. It's hard to take down that guy. All right. First and 10. First and 10. Yeah, that, I would say that's one of their best players. It's 31. Okay, okay, okay. What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh. Just, just like that. Just like that. Wow, Andre Johnson was wide open. Wide open right there, guys. Yo, Andre Johnson's a good player to get, man. You can actually, in these drafts, get him pretty early. Or, or actually, I would say early, but it depends on what kind of direction you're taking your team. But I usually do draft him. Obviously, not this time, because he just scored on us, not for us. And now it's 14-6, about to be 14-7. So, hey. They got something going. So now it's our turn to respond. And okay, okay, the Chiefs are all out here. You can see they, they're feeling it. Let's just go out. Just under two minutes left in third. Oh, they're talking strategy over there. <laughs> all right, let's go. No, no need to panic, but see like, why is Richie in? Why is that? It's okay. We're good. Man. Why? 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 That should be. I read that right too. I think that's what frustrates me. I thought I read that right. Nobody was on him. Okay. 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 Ah, oh, just playing really good zone, man. Not able to find the guy open. Look at that by Darlin. Making the catch right there. Really tight quarters. Let's go. We need people to step up, man. Right there. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's get back to the running game. Or not, because this looks a little sketchy, to be honest. All right. I like that. I like that. Oh, come on, Leftwich. Come on. You guys got to make those types of plays. Like, sheesh. All right. All right. Let's go. Second and ten. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Follow those blocks, man. Get that yardage. Hmm. 
like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Okay, okay, they're playing up tight. Playing up tight. Why? Why wasn't he not able to catch that? Uh, I can't believe that. Fourth and four. I'm going to go for it. What a crazy risky play and it pays off. Wow. Look, 12 was just bumped. And I was like, oh, I threw it, I threw it to him, but you know what? It's not going to matter because, bam. But, hey, we're good. We're good. We got it. Big play there. I think it's keep the ball there. <laughs> Look at that, dude. The blocking's pretty strong up front. I'm, I'm liking what our offensive line has given us here. Okay, but they're expecting the run. Now, I want to see what this is about. Second and six. Ah, oh, anybody else in that? That that does something. So, I'm tired of these plays where it's like, that shouldn't be Richie. That should be a running back, but it's okay. We're up 14-7, and if we play our cards right, we should go up a little bit more. But second and, I mean, third and three, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. After just talking all that smack, 48, you're going to get this ball. And you're going to get the first down. They know what's up. That's all we needed. There we go. I mean, if we wanted to, we could just play it like this. If we really, really wanted to. Alright, there we go. I'm just looking at our options here. I'm kind of making sure... Personnel is right. All right, let's go, let's go. Off that right side. There you go, Jones. Maybe the speed being a little bit slower helps me navigate, you know? I like that. Who's this, Richie? We're just going to play it kind of conservative here, but not really. It's second and three. The running game is working. Oh, we should have went in. We're actually going to do this. Let's see. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Third and inches. Hey, that's a first down, though. That's a first down, though. That's got to be a first down. He literally landed over it. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. That's what's up. First down. Hey. Get it by any means, all right? That's what I'm talking about. All right. First and 10 here. All right, all right. Winslow. First down. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. We need him to step up with Chris out right now and LT out. Really got to see that. And he do, he does his thing. He does his thing. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh man, why did I? I did not even see that that safety back there, man. I can't lie. I did not see that guy. So that's on me. Not a lot of shotgun plays here, though. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that. Second and 10 here, though. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Alright, I don't know if they're running man here. It's going to be L1 or square. There we go. There we go. What I say? 
Nice catch 85 for his second touchdown of the day. And we just dice up the Kansas City Chiefs defense yet again. But 355 remaining in the fourth. Look at this. Uh, look, he burnt him. I just got to I just got to throw that ball an inch lower or higher. It, it doesn't work, but Lloyd he readjusted that that defensive player as you can see was in the way. He didn't do anything. So we lucked out a little bit there, but I'm getting better at reading some of these defenses, scanning the field. Our offensive line, I got to say, 16, look at that, 16 plays, 80 yards, three, 3 minutes and 57 seconds, almost 4 minutes, damn it. <laughs> That's what you do with the lead. After that team scores, you're like, all right, bet, we're going to just take a majority of the rest of the game, and we're going to score on you. So now you're still down by two scores. What are you going to do? They're going to kneel here, though. Yo, Leftwich having a game today. Three touchdowns. I mean, come on. I don't think we've thrown a pick yet. Knock on wood. You guys know it's it's ex, it's extremely possible. Okay, going into full pass mode. Oh, nice tip there by 28. The rookie. Let's go. Let's go. Wait for him to step up. We gotta trade um, the one of the uh, original corners that he was drafted with. We need to trade him away to get Will Allen. So I don't know. Ooh. Okay, third and two. Do too hard, too hard. I feel like it's a pass, but. Ooh. Aaron Let's go, Arrington, LeVar, Arrington 56 with the interception. Let's go. Second one of the day for our defense, all coming from our linebackers. So, love to see it. 55, 56, 57. I, that's that's our line. That's our our linebacker core. It's it's yeah, way to go. I love it. So I'm gonna say I don't mind the bucks. The uh, you know getting 48 in involved more was very helpful, especially with this with this um, new running back coming in. Just kind of takes off some of the uh, the load, gives them a chance to kind of you know get adjusted. Second and nine. See, I don't think that's gonna work twice though. Winslow over the middle, man. Making it work. We almost got sacked, though. Kind of took a little too long to get that off, but I'm not mad at it. Okay, we're going to do this with Jones. They wanted to do it with Richie. Nah. Third four is going in. If anything, we're going to get a field goal out of this. Okay, they ship down. Oh! You saw how he just... Ooh, just knocked that man out. <laughs> Got the first down. That's what I'm talking about. All right. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Honestly, he might be more of the type of running back I like to play with. Obviously, I like a strong running back that can just truck the mess out of people. Because uh, trucking people in this game is so satisfying. We're going to let it go down to two minutes, though. I'm going to hand it off to 34 yet again. Ooh. Still got six yards. I mean, between them both, they've got over 100 yards rushing. Yeah, he's got 69 yards. Two-minute warning, though. Man, let's go. Can we get him, like, a touchdown, though? I mean, we've just been throwing it in, though. That's why. Like, they're ready for it here. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, no way. What happened there? What a dumb move on my part. Thank God for Sims to get the fumble. Oh, my God. What was I thinking, dude? All right, so we need we need a first down. 
But we don't need to do anything stupid. Third and five. Minute and a half. Let the clock go. Clock management here. We're going to be running it in with 48. Or at least get it lined up like that. So I, it doesn't look like we're going to get Gray his touchdown. That's okay. He did it. He did enough though. We got to work on that. Uh, getting the running back into the receiving passing game here. We should be fine here. We should be fine. There we go. 24 seven, man. I'll take it. I'll take it. We could have messed that up too. We could have messed up the kick and we could have also messed up with that fumble. So glad he didn't do that. But look at this, a good commanding victory today, 24 seven. I feel like we're getting in a good rhythm, but I think I need to settle on a playbook. Oh, let's go. I don't know, you guys let me know. I think there's a couple plays missing. I don't like how, I think we can involve the, the fullback over the running back in some situations. I think we can factor in the fullback more, but not have a, a playbook geared towards it. So, but man, stats wise, it, it worked out really well for us today. So, some people will be like, why would you pick anything else? Oh man, don't, don't, don't show it now, defense. Don't show it now. Spot of the ball. Oh, they got to show 30 getting put in the dirt. Look at that. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this game is so satisfying to play, like, gameplay-wise. I mean, obviously, the aesthetic and look of the game has aged a little bit, but I think it holds up a lot. It's all about the animation. Look at the player models and everything. So, second and one. I am sure 31's about to get the ball. That was wrong. Hey, oh, there we go. Jeez. That could have been bad. They got one more timeout. All right, all right. Hey, there you go, Will Allen. He got his hands on it. Almost got the interception. All right, second and ten. I'm pretty sure this is a pass. Oh, I feel like we're we're starting to get a little messy. We're there. We're where we need to be, but we're not making that play. And that they, they, they come so close to becoming big plays. All right. There we go. Another sack, dude. 97. Good job, man. See, that's what I'm saying. We need uh, this kind of pressure. Like, oh, no way. No way. How did he make that play? Y'all need to press pause and rewind that and explain to me what happened there. Okay, they're going to do it for us. What? Yeah, he, he, he didn't make a big play, but... Oh! So we get the ball back. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead and take a knee. We're not going to risk anybody getting hurt. I thought they got the first, kind of. It's like, I think they stopped him, but I could be wrong. I don't think they have any more timeouts. Even if they do, they're not going to call them. Yeah, they're out, so we're good. That's it, guys. 24 to 7 is going to be the final score of this one. I think we played really well, given missing certain players still. Man, I can't wait till we get at least Chris Chambers back. Cause we're, I don't think we're going to have LT back. Not even if we get to the playoffs. So stay tuned to the next video to catch up on where we are playoffs wise. If you guys want to see the standings and some other information like Pro Bowl, let me know. But there we go. We're moving on. We're, we're finding something here and we're making it work. 
Thank you guys for supporting this series, this channel, this video on the road to 1,000 subs. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. We got the victory today. Like for the victory. Like for the dub. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Enjoy the post game show and enjoy Sports Center. All right, Dan. Thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games post game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Broncos stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Andre Johnson emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 51-yard touchdown for the Chiefs. The Chiefs climb back into the game, now down by seven. The Bronx answer right back. Ball at the 13-yard line. Byron Leftwich would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 13-yard touchdown for the Broncos. Chiefs back by 14. LeVar Arrington is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Bronx have it off an interception. Neil Rackers would be called upon for the field goal try and he'd come through. A 31 yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bronx win this one 24 to seven. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our player of the game award. Byron Leftwich is down on the field with Susie Calver. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You played brilliantly, and your team bulldozed to a runaway victory. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? Man, our D-line came up big today. They were making tackles, putting pressure on the pocket. I'm proud of them. That's how it's done. Back to you, Chris. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long. Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Bengals walk away with a commanding 19-point win. The Packers lost this one, but will stay at number three in the NFC North. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. LaDainian Tomlinson won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. The diagnosis, a neck strain. He'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Mike Wall won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. Doctors confirming the worst this week, a torn hamstring and that'll put him out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. On to the serious news of the week. Moreland Greenwood had to be placed on injured reserve, so he'll be on the sidelines for the rest of the year. Just a key blow to the heart of this defense. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Vikings win their fifth game of the season. Andre Johnson had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Ricky Prohl Shampoo pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Cowboys beat the Eagles. Redskins, 49ers. Michael Vick is a threat, certainly at the three-yard line. Does he run it? Oh, no, a little stutter step. He's right open in the flat. Six points. The Redskins go on to win this by the final score of 27 to 17. Down in the sunny skies of Arizona, we had the Cardinals end up with an eight-point victory. Over at the Cleveland Browns Stadium, we had the Browns come away with a seven-point win. The Buccaneers racked up over 150 rushing yards in their win at Tampa. The Dolphins lost at home and will stay home for next week's game when they meet the Browns. The Raiders lost this one, but will stay at number one in the AFC West. Seahawks, Jets. Brad Hoover is inside the 10-yard line. Look at the moves for him. First man out of the backfield, touchdown, eight yards. The Jets win this one by the final score of 24 to 13. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Falcons pick up their eighth win of the year. Jimmy Smith stepped it up this week, 
and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Correll General Buckhalter rushed for over 50 yards and helped his Bears beat the Texans. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? Junior Ioni is on the move. Perhaps not for all that he thought he'd get, but a good deal nonetheless. Four years, $1.8 million. And last but not least, we had the Colts come away victorious. All right, Boomer, thanks. Just two weeks to go until the playoffs arrive, and just as we do every year, we're looking at a number of interesting races as teams jockey for position. We'll start it out in the AFC. And now, checking things out over in the NFC playoff race. So that's how we stand to this point. Still lots of jockeying left to go as we get this thing sorted out for January. So that'll do it from here. Boomer, we send it back over to you. So with just two weeks to go now, still plenty to be decided before January rolls around. But first, my prime time players game balls go out to these men, each helping their team down the stretch. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul.